Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know recently I made a few videos on the Ryzen 5, my builds, but all of them were actually pretty terrible prices. So, I saw this comment on one of the videos, and I decided that why not I just s spend a little more time and make this cheaper, and I only spent like 3 minutes more and I got a $900 build of the 1600X. So that's actually a lot better. I'm gonna post this link on all those other videos, so hopefully everyone sees this one, because this one's a lot better than previous videos. And this one's only $900 for the 1600X. It's a 6-core, 4 gigahertz turbo AM4 processor. Of course, this build has the 1600X. I decided to go with the Hyper 212 EVO because this CPU, I don't think it comes with a stock cooler because I couldn't find anything about it coming with a stop cool stock cooler, I only found people saying it doesn't. So that most likely means it doesn't. So I put in this Hyper 212 because it's a good cooler and I think it does support AM4, you just need to order a separate AM4 bracket. I chose the MSI B350M because it's, a, it's the cheapest AM4 motherboard you can find and it's black and red, perfect for Ryzen. I went with G-Skill Ripjaws 5, I went with a 1, 1 x 8GB kit because this uh, motherboard has only two slots since it's micro ATX. And so I thought that I want you guys to be able to upgrade to 16GB whenever you want. And I chose this direct one because this is 2800MHz and with Ryzen the more, uh, the higher, faster the memory speed is it seems like you get better performance with Ryzen that way, so that's why I went with the uh, best kit I could find for under $50. It's actually $55, but that's fine. WD Blue, one terabyte, because that's probably the best you can get for some good amount of storage. I went with Zotac's Mini GTX 1070 because it's the cheapest 1070 on the market right now. And I went with the S340 because it's black and red and it's only $65. Then I went with EVGA's cheapest power supply ever, 430 watt, non-modular, and it all in total came out to be uh, $890, excluding the operating system. So that gives you a little bit more, $100 more room to add Windows 10, and that should peel up the price to $900. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, but if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm gonna post this in the comments section of all my other videos because this one is a lot more uh, budget and better. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.